You're about to see what looks like a simple trick, but it has a deeper, more elusive level. Welcome to the color-changing card trick using this blue back deck of cards. Now, the idea is very simple. I'm just going to spread the cards in front of Sarah and ask her to push any card towards the front of the table. OK, I'm going to go for this card here. Excellent. Sarah could have chosen any of the cards in the deck, but she selected the one which is now laying face down on the table. I'm going to ask her to look at the card and tell us what it is. The card I chose was, in fact, the Three of Clubs. The Three of Clubs, excellent. That comes back into the deck. I'm now going to spread the cards face up on the table. A click of the fingers, and Sarah's card still has a blue back. What's more surprising is that all of the other cards now have red backs. And that is the amazing colour-changing card trick. But this trick really doesn't involve cards at all. It clearly shows how the brain picks up only a tiny bit of the available visual information. In fact, as the trick was occurring, four other color changes went on. Welcome to the color changing card trick using this blue back deck of cards. As the trick unfolds, the camera stays on the cards. One, which is now laying face down on the table. Most of us don't notice changes in clothing and background made off camera. The color changing card trick exploits this idea that we have a very good idea of what's happening right in front of our eyes. In fact, 90% of that information we're just not seeing. It doesn't feel like that. It feels like as we look around, we're perceiving the whole of the world. That's not the case. We really are only just focused on a tiny, tiny area. <laughs> <laughs> 